hello and good morning everybody we are so excited about this tuesday morning just a regular old routine morning we're just going to show you guys what we do and kind of like what the kids wear to school come on guys you're gonna be late hurry up so we're gonna show you what everybody likes to wear their very favorite outfit they're gonna come down the stairs and we're gonna show you kind of their own personalities their own styles all right, Lando was ready first this morning. Then we've got Ava. Oh shoot, you guys. You didn't get dressed in the right clothes because we're going to Miami today. What? What? Miami, here we come. Welcome to Miami. Woo! Get dressed, kiddos. We're going to Miami and our flight leaves at noon. Hurry up. Dad! <laughs> Do you want to go to Miami? Yeah! Now, we gotta get ready to so really, I'm so awesome for getting dressed so early for school this morning, but we're not going to school. Not today! <laughs> Turbo, now the real question is who knew? I didn't, I don't, I don't think I did. Did, did nobody knew? We guys, we managed to keep this a surprise. <laughs> hang on, hang on, there's still more over here. How is he gonna go with us? Who? God, he has to go on a trip. Yeah, do you know what? Dad doesn't really have a work conference. We just made that up. I made that up. I made it up. Guys, Turin got invited to go to Lake Powell, and we had to come up with an excuse as to why. Our whole why. family got invited to Lake Powell. That's true. Our whole family. And we had to come up with an excuse as to why. So we made up a work conference. I had to go to work. And he asked if he could go without us. <laughs> so then we just kept being mean and saying no over Wait, and so over again. So you're not even going to a conference in no, we're just going to Miami. Just all of us for fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when they woke up this morning, we had to make it seem like it was regular morning. So they got into their school clothes. Actually, Landon voluntarily got into his school clothes. Ashton's in his. Evans his. Turin is not because he doesn't wear school clothes, right? And anyway, we were able to keep this a secret this entire time, which is pretty hard, honestly, because sometimes my Alexa will announce my calendar events, but I figured out how to silence that this last week so that. Did not actually give it away. All right, guys. Miss Annabelle's going to the dog sitter. Here is what seven days looks like all packed up. We do it pretty light. We're pretty efficient these days. Each kid's going to have their own carry-on bag. Because we are flying southwest, we actually get two check bags per person plus two carry-ons per person. So we're going to have more than enough luggage space. Everyone's packing their own snacks. Ava apparently is already digging into her snacks. So mom has laid out pretty much every snack you could think of to pack. On the way there, plus snacks for the beach. All right, you guys, we made it to the airport. We are on our way to Miami, and we're so excited. Welcome to Miami. Guys, how excited are we right now? So excited. Oh, I got that one. I got that one. Thanks, Ash. You have two of them. So you're taking two planes, you got it? Well, look what are we doing very first. own boarding passes. Landon, here you go. This is your ticket to ride, okay? Got it? Many of you do not know, including my children, is that this is Utah's brand new airport. This is Salt Lake City's brand new airport turn. It's finished? It's just barely been open. And so because of COVID, it has not been used very much, but this is the first time we've ever been in this airport because it is brand new. And there's glass. Yeah, I mean, guys, this is a beautiful airport. This is a multi, multi-billion dollar airport. One hundred billion dollars. Supposedly one of the nicest airports in the country now, and we get the privilege of flying out of it today. So we are all checked in, heading now to our gate with ample time to probably get a little food and explore some of the new restaurant options they have here in this airport. They aren't seating middle seats, so we get a lot more space to spread out. So we're sitting two to a seat. We've got Dad and Ava over here. 
peanut by the window. We've got Turin and Mom over here, right next to Ashy and Landon over here. Landon, are you gonna do the window seat? I wanna be the window. Maybe you guys can take turns on the next flight. School is probably over. Bueller. Bueller. We are on our flight to Miami. So technically we actually fly to Fort Lauderdale. Well, and we drive to Miami. Well actually, um, they were the ones that got me a purse. That's Miami. right. All the kids have souvenirs from Miami. So they have been wanting to go here for a very long time. Well, so flight number so, two, so, last flight of the night. Here um, we go. Oh, we have another story. Um, so my brother got, um, a bracelet and I got a purse. Cool. Cool. So guys, everyone has a travel buddy and Ava and I on, uh, well, I guess we've been kind of put together as travel buddies. Turn and mom are travel buddies and then obviously the dynamic duo of twins are travel buddies, but I kind of think I hate having a, like one of the coolest travel buddies. Mm. No. <laughs> Are you? I think we're taking off. Oh, okay, let's go. rental car place to get ourselves a minivan. We found a maroon one. The swagger wagon. I roll hard through the streets and the cold decide. And we're pretty excited. Heading to the hotel, baby. All right, guys, our chariot awaits. Let's go. All right, guys, we made it over here to the Lobster Shack. Now, Lindsay and I love a good old lobster roll. Now, look at this, my face is glistening so humid out here. In fact, turn the first thing he said is, gosh, it's really humid out here. So it is currently almost 11 o'clock and we just wanted some good, authentic food. We didn't want to get something we could just get in Utah, so we rolled over here to the Lobster Shack and these people have been more than accommodating, but we are right next to the water at this place. You guys, getting a lobster roll is part of the Miami experience. In fact, Turin goes, Mom, I feel bad ordering a $22 lobster roll. And I said, Turin, sorry, but it's part of the experience. You have to get a lobster roll. Not every day, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we made it to 
the Fontainebleau here in Miami. You guys, this is Lindsay and I's favorite hotel here in Miami Beach. We absolutely love this place. We are so excited to be here. We're so excited to show the kids this place that we love so much, and they are so excited to be here. So you guys, we're in our room. We're gonna give you an exclusive room tour tomorrow morning because we are tired and it is past midnight right now and some of the kids are conked out. But we are at the Fontainebleau here, greeted by the nicest people. Our kids nice. are so excited. We've got a nice little view. Well, and we're, we're getting here in the dark, so to be honest with you, we can't wait to wake up to that view. Tomorrow morning is gonna be amazing. We're gonna get the drone in the air and give you guys a good shot of this place. But you guys, thank you for coming with us from all the way from Utah here to Miami Beach. You guys, this is our first big family vacation. This is the longest thing the kids have ever been on a plane, put it that way. We're so excited to share it with the you. The farthest they've ever been on a plane, yeah. All right guys, hey, well thank you for joining today's video. Be sure to smash the like button for us on this one because you are in for some pretty cool epic videos of our little trip here in Miami. So, tune in tomorrow and good night everybody. Good morning, our life in Holland. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to a beautiful Fontainebleau Resort here in Miami Beach. The kids were itching to get out, and yes, we are still on Utah time a little bit, so it's like almost noon. You guys, we woke up to the most incredible view of the ocean. Justin and I went to the gym together while looking at the ocean. It was an Oceanside workout room. Absolutely beautiful. The kids are out, they were patient. We are now headed to the beach, headed to the pool. So excited to be here. Guys, we are ready for a jam-packed day of fun. All right, guys, we are gonna give you a quick exclusive tour of this beautiful poolside resort and the beach. because the kids have never been to the Atlantic Ocean and I've been telling them how beautiful and warm the water is and how awesome the sandy beaches are. So here we go, first time to the beach. Very, very warm. But I just keep eating salt. <laughs> He's eating salt, a lot of salt. And the salt is getting in my eyes. Oh my goodness, this is paradise. First time in the Atlantic Ocean, what are we thinking here? Do you like the color? Is it amazing? Like 
your toys, Ocean. Guys, I have two beautiful mermaids right here. On the day-to-day, -day, apparently in the ocean, I'm used as a life preserver as well. <laughs> the ship's going down. Grab on to Dad. He's holding all of us. I'm just watching out for sharks. Grab on to Dad. You guys, last night we what? were... Ah! We were told that they were, they had spotted many sharks by the shore in Miami Beach you know, yesterday. That is what they said, but then I just asked this guy that was just setting up our chairs and he said, no, there's no sharks around here, so. All right, guys, we are closing in on three o'clock and we have not had lunch yet, so the kids have had too much fun here at the pool, at the beach. All right, guys, our time at the pool and at the beach has come to a close. It is now nearing 5.30. We are now trying to figure out what to do next. I don't know. I mean, food, 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 right? Okay, you guys, we have not yet given you our exclusive room tour. So here with me is my host, uh, Lindsay Bingham. Welcome to Welcome. our suite. So as you know, we are a family of six and we do not fit in a regular room anymore. So we found a room that has two queens and a pullout. But when we got here, I did not expect it to be bigger than our very first apartment. We're gonna walk you through our beautiful room over here at the Fontainebleau. Here we go. Look at that view. Look at that view. So directly to our left is a bathroom. Very nice, very beautiful. However, the kids are in there horsing around in the bathtub. Splish, splash, I was taking a bath. Don't forget, there's a little mini TV. So you can watch TV while you're in the bathtub. This seems silly, but there is a double door, single door, and another double door closet, which is where all of our stuff goes so that it's not everywhere around the room. Tons and tons of space to put our luggage. Over here we have a full-on kitchen table, a little mini fridge, sink, a microwave, and they even have silverware, cups, all that kind of stuff. So if we wanted to have a few groceries or eat lunch in the room, we can easily do that. This room is called the Sorrento Junior Suite. It is almost 1,000 square feet, which again, to Lindsay's point, is bigger than our first apartment. Over here we have one of two TVs because it's almost like a separate room where our beds are. We've got a couch, a chair, just a little family room type area with the most incredible view. You guys, this is by far the best part of the room. We have the most ginormous patio looking out to the beautiful Atlantic Ocean. Look at this. The sunset right now is going down. Gorgeous, there's cruise ships out over there. We've got the Miami River over here, if that's what you call it. You can see the cruise ships over there. We're on the 18th floor. This place is spectacular. And for those of you who are not familiar, Miami Beach is on a peninsula. So we've got ocean over here, ocean over there. We can see both sides. It is so pretty. All right, so we're gonna take you back now into the apartment here and take you now over to the bedroom section. So it's separated by this nice wall. In fact, when I first came in, Lindsay, you don't know this, but I was actually like, I didn't see that it opened over there. So I was sitting here like trying to open doors and then yeah, it opened over there. I didn't, I didn't know that. That was a really good story, babe. Thanks. <laughs> so in here we have another incredible view. Like the wall is all windows looking out to the gorgeous ocean. Got another ginormous TV and two queen size beds. This will be our home for the next six days, everybody. So. Oh, don't forget the most important part. Oh, hang on, there's more. I don't know what she's showing here. What do you got? Oh, now the hotel did not stock these cabinets. That was actually done by Lindsay herself. Oh, really. We packed an extra suitcase full of snacks. All right, guys. Well, these kids are getting hungry again. We're gonna get dressed. And there are so many food options here. We had key lime pie last night. Lindsay, we didn't mention this. Oh, yeah. We had key lime pie last night. It's a tradition. Every single night, you guys are going to see us try some key lime pie. So if you have some suggestions on where to go, comment down below because we want to know the best key lime pie in Miami. I have a suggestion for you. You always talk like this. Talk like this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Really? We eat it? I think this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> but we try key lime pie every single night and it is our favorite. Yes. One size love... was average, I'll be honest. Yes. We love key lime pie <laughs> so much. <laughs> uh... Italy, and as you guys know, we have a dying love for Italian food. So we brought the kids down to 
Historia Romana to enjoy some nice old-fashioned Italian before we head back home. Actually, both before we head back and find some key lime pie, then head back home. Very important. We drove a little way to get some key lime pie tonight, but we ended up at a bake shop that has a lot of different pies. The kids both got some pie shakes, which means they blend the pie into an ice cream shake. And then Justin and I were just gonna share a key lime pie and maybe pick another one. Turns out he ordered four pieces of pie for two people. And this is why I love him. I love He's a pie. pie guy. So we've got chocolate pecan, salted caramel, key lime pie, a berry pie. It's like Thanksgiving, just a month and a half early. All right, everybody, we are back. And our bellies are full. Picked up some groceries for the room. Yes. Some drinks. Once a mother, always a mother, you guys. Cereal. We, we went to the local store here, Publix, which is very popular for those that are Floridians. You would appreciate Publix. We've got ourselves basically groceries for the next week. So. Well, no, just some easy breakfast and some drinks. Since when you go by the pool, it's like $7 a drink. So we just picked up a few things. Guys, we had a amazing first day. Would you not agree, Miss Ava, who just woke up now she's enjoying a chocolate shake? Was yes. it so awesome today? Yes. Ashley would agree as well, yes. We're going to go to bed. We're trying to get on Florida schedule here. I think we're almost there. I mean, truth is it's 10.30 and the kids and I feel like they're tired, but we're gonna make them go to bed anyway because we want to get up a little bit early because we have some fun things planned tomorrow, which you're not gonna want to miss. Yes. So, guys, if you are new to our channel, welcome to Our Life in Holland. You people are amazing. Thank you so much for your love, for your support. We love you guys. Be sure to subscribe if you have not. Turn on that notification bell and good night, everybody. Good night. Ooh, good morning, everybody. We are in for a treat today, everybody. So we are here at Gator Park in the Everglades to go on an airboat to see some wild alligators. This is no joke. We pulled up today to Gator Park Turn starts walking over across the parking lot, and I immediately yell, say, Turn, don't go any farther. Wild gators, everybody, you look out. Right. It's gator country out here, young lady, and if you look out for them gators, they'll just, they'll just snap your head. Woohoo! How's that? Cool! They'll just, they'll just bite your arm right off, Missy. Ava, are you a little nervous for gators? Yeah. So, the kids have never been on a gator tour before. Lindsay and I have done it once, and it was amazing. I haven't seen a gator, but I know what it looks like. What does it look like? It's just like a lizard with big teeth, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, we have got our ticket to ride. Next boat is about 20 minutes, so before we take off on this airboat, we're gonna give you guys a little glimpse of what's about to go down today. Go sit down.
All right, you guys, we've got our first gator on our gator tour. Eventually, you do plan to have dinosaurs on your on your dinosaur tour, right? We were drifting across the Everglades. That was so fun. <laughs> I felt like I was on an amusement park ride. See him, Ava? Yeah. That's a big one, huh? Wild stop! Ava, what do you think of those? You're gonna tell her, show her the picture of your alligator. River of Grass is the slowest river in the world, which is a half a mile, 24 hours. Of course, alligators are everywhere. This is what everybody comes to see. Wally's pretty friendly. <laughs> Top predator, simple purpose, balanced nature. Wally is four years old. So they caught him in Louisiana. The color, but they don't care what color the animal is. They just want to see how far away he is. But if they go underwater with their throat open, they drink too much water. They keep the throat closed, catch a fish, head above the water, open the throat and swallow the food. They don't chew, they crush food. The way they catch food, tactile location. Once you touch, they close. Try it. <laughs> All right, so we've got the opportunity to hold a gator here. Mr. Turn's going first. Tur, there's a huge one behind you, dude. Be careful. Turn, smile. Holy cow. This thing's heavy. Like a mat. It's heavy. Actually, don't drop it. That is so heavy. It feels good, though, on your feet. There you go, dude. Look at my little smile. Hold on, let me get a picture. What? Hold on, let me get a picture. Pet him. Come next to me. Put your hand on his head, it's okay, I promise, it's okay. Trust me. He's really soft. Look, there, the mouth is closed. Gentle. See, you feel it, go ahead. Dad, oh, <laughs> seriously? Daddy. Sweetheart, I'm just teasing. You can stand right next to me, come here. Good job, Eva. You were so brave. All right, you guys. That concludes our gator tour here at Gator Park. What a spectacular experience that was for the kids. And that was for us. incredible. That was so fun. I'll be honest with you. We've done this before, but this one was a lot better. Oh, way better. Yeah. Just the ride alone was really fun. We yeah. were soaring, like just drifting back and forth. I feel like we were gone in 60 seconds, drifting around corners. It was so fun. We saw two gators, which I think is a very successful trip out there. Not only do we saw two gators, they came right up to the boat, you guys. And stayed there for a while. Yeah, stayed that there for a long time. Cool. Almost as if they were trained to come to the boat. The show for me was really interesting. He was telling us all sorts of cool stuff. Very educational, and let's put it cool that way. it was for him to just be like handling and training these crocodiles and alligators. Lindsay jumped like six inches off of her chair when that thing bit down. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. And Go then the kids all got the chance to hold the gator themselves, the little baby gator. It was just so cool. Today <laughs> was so fun. All right, Tara, open your hand. It's gonna jump out. A little frog. See it. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. These are gator teeth. No way, what do you guys say? <laughs> Who's in this one? Is this Trump? Was that Trump in the last one?
guys. We are back poolside today. Hi. Hi. What to do, what to do. We need the beach or pool, guys. Choose beach or pool. Pool. Poolside it is. <laughs> oh, isn't that warm? It's warmer than the pool, huh? Hey, hey, look at that. We got Ava the mermaid here. Ava, look at the All right, y'all, yeah, we got the whole crew out here at the beach. Woo, woo, woo. Ava said, oh, Dad, no, it's salt water. I'm holding Lando like a baby. Can we get that on the camera, <laughs> All right, guys, we're diving in the next wave we see, okay? Okay. One, two, here's one, three. Oh, my gosh, you guys. We almost did not close tonight's video just because we thought, you know, we don't have to close every video. But then Lindsay's like, well, look at the backdrop over there. Right? I'm, in fact, I'm looking at the backdrop more than I'm looking at the lens right now. People, look at this thing. <laughs> and on this side, we've got to the ocean. The beach over here, cruise ship. Guys, that cruise ship has been sitting there actually since we got here. So I assume it's just kind of hanging out. I don't think anyone's cruising right now. You guys, thank you for spending another day in Miami with us. We hope you enjoyed the alligators and the crocodiles. Guys, our GoPro Max is having some issues. So I'm really hoping we get the footage. If we got it, you'll have already seen it in this video. If not, it was amazing. We got like this close to gators with our GoPro. It, it was, was incredible. Really cool. But apparently it got water in it. And I'm not sure if I can recover the footage. I'm trying. If you've seen another video, we got it. If not, I apologize in advance, but what an amazing day. Come back tomorrow for some more awesome fun in beautiful Florida. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you like this video. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Heck yeah! Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's up everybody? Welcome back to our life in Holland. Welcome back to our channel. You have guys, you seen my mouth? Have you seen her mouth? You guys, we are currently at the most beautiful resort, Tidal Cove, which is next to the JW Turnberry Marriott Hotel here in Aventura, Florida. This place is astonishing. It is gorgeous. They've got, how many slides do they have? They have numerous slides, six stories height of slides here. They have a lazy river. They have a flow rider. They have a kiddie pool. They have kiddie water slides. They have mat racers. This place is heaven on earth for and both adults and kids. The green one is like a um, roller coaster. It is. What do you say we go show them all that this place has to offer and let's party, should we? Are you ready? Yeah. Linda, are you ready? Yeah. We got mom chilling over here in our little private cabana. Look at this fruit platter. It's We've got Ava's, Ava's already thing. demolished the dragon fruit. This is what tropical vacation dreams are made of. Looks more like lipstick. You guys, we are right next to the golf course over here. Hole number 10 right here. We got ourselves some drinks, some treats. Turin and Ashton, they are already out, have done the slide now twice. We've been here for less than 15 minutes. They've already done the pad racing slide already. Now we're going to take Ava and Landon up there because, well, 
I want to see who's faster, either Ava or me. Who do you think it is, Ava? Oh my gosh. Is any of this getting into your mouth? No? Down in the, <laughs> the water. All right, guys, we are headed up to what's called the family slide, which is a huge tube. In fact, here, we'll give him a sneak peek. That is the tube. It takes it all the way up to the top. So, Landon is in tow on my back here. Lindsay and Ava. Oh my gosh, this is a workout. Woo! Lindsay and Ava actually are at the bottom waiting for us. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! This is amazing! Okay, we're almost to the top. I already went to the gym this morning too, Lando. You ready? Yeah! Woo! Woo! We're on top of the world, everybody! All right, guys, ready? Three, two, two one! one. Right, guys, so we are headed back up yet again, and it's already decided. I did that one. Hands down, the coolest water park we have ever been to. I did the drop off one, I'm so proud. Oh, round and round we go. Round and round we go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh my god. I'm proud. I'm going down backwards. I'm going down backwards. All right, guys, so those that don't know Lindsay, she has, I would say, some pretty severe claustrophobia. Severe. Okay, she's very claustrophobic. And she's brave enough to come up here on this slide, not really know what she's about to get herself into. But guys, if Lindsay just does one slide all day, I just want it to be this one. No. <laughs> no words because she's that nervous, no joke. I don't like being dropped. I know, it's gonna be fast though. No, you're, you're in that one. Because that's the slower one. Let's go. <laughs> she's taking forever because she's so nervous. Come on, babe, let's go! Okay, you gotta close your arms, close your legs, pull them straight up. What do you mean pull with your legs? Close your legs, cross them right now. And, and cross this, and then hold it out like that. I'm not gonna hold it out. You're excited to see your face. Right there. Can I do this? Yes. I keep my legs crossed, why? I hate you. I love you, babe! <laughs> she's so mad at me right now, it's so good. <laughs> what do you think, babe? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Justin just made me go down that water slide. Not only is it just crazy, crazy fast, you start standing and then like the floor disappears underneath you, which is scary enough. But then I'm, I'm, I'm a little claustrophobic. As an adult, I wasn't this way as a kid. I'd go on all the enclosed water slides, but the entire water slide is enclosed and you're going so fast. I basically just closed my eyes and waited for it to be over. <gasps> Another slide, everybody. <laughs> this is a dual slide only. This apparently is the roller coaster slide. You guys, look where we are right now. We're on top of the world right now. Look at this view. With the GoPro, it's gonna be hard to see just because the GoPro is kind of a, a wide angle lens, but look at this. This resort sits on 300 acres of paradise. Oh, 
Guys, you know you're having a good time when you uh, literally lose your entire party just to go use the restroom. I've come back now and I don't have any idea where they are and I've returned back to exactly where they were. <laughs> I guess that means I'm going to the Lazy River. Where are they? Ava! Oh! Lindsay! Look over here! Walk backwards! There's my crew! The wheels fit here, come, Dana! <laughs> Holy cow! That was amazing! Guys, Ava and I just got out of the pool and we are sipping some pina coladas. If you like pina coladas. This is straight heaven right now. We are just hanging out in the most beautiful cabana poolside right next to the pool. The boys are over there on the water slides. We just ordered some lunch. My camera died earlier when I was talking about that water slide. <laughs> that Justin made me go on. You guys, fastest, craziest water slide I've ever been on in my entire life. I just closed my eyes until the end. But my favorite part is at the beginning when the girl was trying to convince me to go, she points over way down below and all of my kids are down there cheering for me to go. And then when I got off the water slide, they were down there just clapping and cheering again. It was the cutest thing. They were so proud of their little old mom up there. Ooh, I think lunch is here. You guys, our bellies are full. This might be some of the best poolside food I think we've ever had. Would you agree? Oh, you guys, it was so good. Okay, so they do have a flow rider here. We've got our wristbands. Turin is actually quite good at the flow rider. Oh, Lindsay's oh. actually quite good too. You think because we're, we surf, we'd be good at it. It's very it's different. different. It's very different though. So anyway, we're gonna head over to the flow rider and give this one a shot. Maybe it's because we're in Florida and we're a little more tropical. We might be feeling the hang loose a little bit more. You're kidding me right now. How much ice cream is this? Oh there? my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm dying right now. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> hey babe, you got something on your face. Let me get it. I gotta get it off your face. <laughs> gotcha. Turin got you actually. Thanks Turin for getting the job done. <laughs> <laughs> Ava, how come you have blue in your hair? Blue. Were you eating blue ice cream? Cotton candy ice cream. This right here. What does that mean? Brandon, this will make you happy. Ava, <laughs> all the cotton candy ice cream. <laughs> That. We just survived that. Can we go again? Okay. We 
Breathe in. Breathe out. Here we go, Ashy Bash. <laughs> You guys, I've never felt so popular in my life. The boys are fighting over who gets to go with me. Doing the green and white slide. This is my third time if you can't tell by how much I'm huffing and puffing. Here we go. Fair warning, Lando, I scream. <laughs> I went like a hundred feet further. I cannot believe my five-year-old is brave enough to do that oh, one. Was that was so fun! Sometimes it hurts my stomach and it just goes away when I drop down. You are just the bravest little kindergartner I've ever met. Oh, look, see, this guy's gonna be way better than me, so don't get any ideas over here. <laughs> he's way better than me. Okay, so I'm not gonna be doing that. But Lindsay over here, she's gonna give it a shot, right? That guy is unreal. Yeah, he's way good. He's way good. I don't even wanna go anymore now. <laughs> It is a little bit stormy here today. They have decided to shut down temporarily due to lightning. So we're gonna go back to the cabana, wait it out for a little bit. Oh, dang. That was the one I was waiting for. A little thunder. Stop it. A little lightning. Stop it. All right, we're gonna venture out into this storm, guys. This is a true Florida tropical storm, baby! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Look at All right guys, we are closing out today's video here at Tidal Cove. We have waded through the most beautiful tropical storm. They just came in, told us that the park's gonna close a little early. It was only 45 minutes early, so it, you know, no big deal, but this has been so fun hanging out in this cabana, watching this tropical storm unfold. You guys, we've had the most amazing day. This place is incredible. And one of the coolest things about it is if you stay at the JW Marriott Turnberry, you can just come here as part of your stay at the hotel. You get access to this amazing water park. I think it's so much better than a water park. It has everything you want, the lazy river, the slides. Then it has these relaxing pools, these relaxing cabanas. 
I have to tell you, the poolside food is the best poolside food we've ever had. It is so good. Usually food at a water park or a pool is not top notch, but the food today was amazing. The service was incredible. They have a flow rider, they have a kitty area. Honestly, huge fans of this place. We will definitely be back. But if you're ever in Miami and you're with the family, definitely stop over to Tidal Cup. Absolutely. Huge thanks to Tidal Cove for hosting us today. If you guys are wondering the name for our channel, in fact, I had the opportunity today to explain it to somebody, asking why the name of our channel. And every time we explain it, it just kind of reemphasizes the beauty of a different turn in life. And so check out that video if you're curious what our channel name means. But if you guys are new, be sure to subscribe down below. Guys, come back tomorrow for another beautiful day here in Miami. See you guys. See you guys. All right, you guys, we have made it back to one of our favorite spots here in Miami, Florida at Key Biscayne. This is where Lindsay and I actually saw as many iguanas as humanly possible. And we knew right away Turin would want to come here because this kid will be on Iguana Watch. In fact, if you guys have not seen that video, this is actually one of our, he's already over there just cruising, no shirt. <laughs> no, but he's Feeling just, his best it's just funny because he's not biking, he's like this. <laughs> here he comes right here. Look. Just looking for iguanas. <laughs> so if you have not seen that video we'll link it above now you can watch that was one of the first videos we did actually hello first videos we did actually here in miami this is so, where our vlog started pretty much this is pretty much where it started so we are at key biscayne at the lighthouse bike rentals we've got ourselves a dual bike three singles and we're going to go on a little iguana hunt and uh just see how many iguanas we can actually see this you time. guys look at this bike over here though ava if she wants to can sit in the front right here this is a little seat for her. Is that the cutest little seat you've ever She's seen? opting to sit by dad because, well, generally dad is a little more fun to sit by. Plus, she says she doesn't want to be in the sun. So. That's a good point. All right, who's ready to go see some iguanas and raccoons and all sorts of things? Let's go see some iguanas and do it. Dang, Gina, this is going to be a leg workout. Woo. Everything is blizzard. How are you doing? This is so Oh, lizard. Iguana, technically, from the family Iguanias. <laughs> oh, human species on our left. The Flaren, sorry. So, guys, one thing that's oh boy, steering right. One thing that's actually very unique about Key Biscayne is over in the distance there are restaurants on stilts or homes on stilts better yet. Can't really get to them, but they're literally in the middle of the ocean. No particular reason that they are there at this moment, but we'll give you a shot of those. Guys, this is a workout by the way. My goodness, I'm pedaling way faster than the wheels are actually moving. Iguana! Okay, so last last time we were here, we actually saw a handful of manatees passing through here. We'll come to find out it's because it is a manatee zone. So Turin just pointed this out. A very familiar sight for us here. We got a super antique right there surfing right now. Legit just came right through here. Turns like I said, Manatee, I said, dude, they're huge. You would have had a different reaction. Yeah, it was huge. Because you never seen one before, so I was expecting a little bit more. Anyway, it just went down underneath here. Oh, there it is. It just surfaced. Can you see it? All right, guys, so Turin wants to take his turn pedaling this thing. It's all sandy, so it's hard to get going.
¡Arriba! got our beach cruisers we are riding these beautiful paths right next to the ocean and we just found this beautiful lighthouse this is the same lighthouse Justin and I came and saw a few months ago <music> nice little breeze blowing today which feels amazing because we're pretty much always dripping wet with how humid and hot it is in Florida, but we love it. So beautiful out here. Lizard! 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 We're done with our beach cruising. That's right, we actually used beach cruisers for beach cruising. Not well, technically we had a tandem beach cruiser, which is way cooler than a regular <laughs> beach cruiser. Am shout, I right, Ava? Shout out to this guy for pedaling yes. harder than he's ever. You're watching? Dude, it's not even hard. Man. I have every incentive to sit here and tell you yes. That's right. <laughs> oh my gosh, that not was true. not easy to buy, to pedal that big beach cruiser. I was dripping in sweat. I can't even imagine how much Justin must have been sweating. So we are now walking to the beach. This is such a pretty beach here in Key Biscayne. It's got a little pathway, the cutest little pathway that takes us over to the beautiful ocean. It's funny, it looks so much different this time because last time Justin and I were here, there was a hurricane coming to Miami. It was the craziest thing ever. And so everything was shutting down. But then the hurricane turned wasn't coming towards Miami anymore, but everyone had left. Everyone had flown home early or driven home. And so it was like a ghost town, but completely safe because the hurricane wasn't coming anymore. So Justin and I basically had this place to ourselves. We were the only people at the beach that day, the only people riding bikes, and it was kind of awesome. All right, we just got settled here on the beach and we found out from all the people around us that there has been a shark sighting. So no one is in the water right now. <laughs> we're trying to decide if we're going to head off to our next destination, which is to see the world's biggest sandcastle. All right, we stopped off on our way home to come see the world's largest sand castle. It is massive. Look at that. The bottom of it looks more like rock now, but it is very cool. Let me show you guys what this looks like. Guys, we made it back to our hotel and the waves are roaring today. Turin's gonna be wishing he had a boogie board right now. Ava, come here, girl. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, so apparently there was a shark sighting. I think we said it at the other beach. And you know what? Our beach is so stinking beautiful. We thought, let's just come back and enjoy it here. It is crowded today. Lots of people out. You can see it here. Let's go catch up to Turin Ash and see what they're doing out here. I'm probably trying to body surf by that. Alright guys, Tara and I have ventured out here into the ocean, the great unknown, the abyss. Being very mindful of sharks, in fact I just had a daydream that a shark attacked me. Not Turin, which is totally fine, I'd totally be okay with that. The father of the year strikes again. Well, we came out here to body surf the best we can, and there's some decent sized waves here right now. I mean, if yeah. you had a surfboard, you might be able to paddle into one of these. Oh yeah. Alright, here we go, T, are you ready? My friend. 
Guys, if you've not had Kinoto, I highly recommend you try it. I, I like the lemonade. I'm and assuming most people will not like it because most people don't like Kinoto unless you're from Italy. Otherwise, but Kinoto is very good. He got one that was like an orange soda and one that was like a lemonade soda. It doesn't taste like regular soda. It's really unique. You know really what I love delicious. about Italian desserts though? Is they're just very lightly sweet. Yeah, they really are. They are not. European pastries in general like that, very lightly sweet, which makes it, you know. It doesn't make you sick when you're done eating it. Yeah, yeah, it's not as rich, which I think is actually really good. Their chocolate cake is not like our chocolate cake, but I'll be honest with you, I like the way we do chocolate cake. You do? He does. Um, see, we're different this way. He doesn't like things that are super sweet. No. I don't mind them so much. No, I love no. a good, dense. Unless it's sweet Ava, she's super sweet. I'm really cool with that. All right, guys, we are actually now headed to do some souvenir shopping. Figured we'll get that part out of the way now because what stinks is our flight got changed. That's just the nature of Southwest, honestly. Well, right now they're condensing flights because people aren't flying as much. So we got switched from like a six hour total time to like 13 hour total time. Not only that, we were supposed to leave at four o'clock, now we're leaving at 11 o'clock. So it kind of honestly cuts away an entire half day of our vacation. But that's okay. So we figured we'll get some souvenir shopping out of the way because tomorrow's a full day as well as next day so oh, it's we're doing it now so no it's not we got two full days left no we're not talking that way yet sorry guys Guys, if there was ever a souvenir store, it's gonna be Wings or Surf Style. Okay, those are the two kind of major stores here. Surf Style actually probably is the biggest. However, this place is right next to where we're eating, and it is a huge store of souvenirs. So let's see what these kids can find. You know what's funny about souvenirs, though, guys, is that generally, I mean, I have so many souvenirs as a kid from Hawaii, places that where my parents took us. That was kind of our thing: is my parents would save up all year and would do one family vacation a year. And I've got so many knickknack souvenirs. Generally, they're like back in the day, they were shot glasses. I mean, we don't drink, but we had shot glasses, or you know, little carved out coconuts, things like that. And those things always just sat on my nightstand as a kid. I never, they were never really functional. 
but they bring back really cool memories of family vacations that I did. So I'm a big believer of souvenirs, even though eventually they kind of are end up knickknacks and in the garbage. But I still have some even today, even though again I don't use them. They're in a box. It brings back some good memories. So that's why we do souvenirs because it helps kids remember the times they experienced. Obviously here, hence obviously you know souvenir. That being said, you know they're gonna pick up keychains and hats and things like that. They're knickknacks. But at the end of the day, it's just fun. All right, guys, turn is up, and he's already found what he wants. Maybe. He's going for Gilligan's Island. Skipper! Hey, Skipper, where are you? <laughs> he doesn't even know what that is, I bet. <laughs> All right, Lando just asked me to help him find something, precious on table, because apparently I know his style. Speaking of style, by the way, I just realized my style doesn't fit out here at all. I mean, everyone's dressed in like clubber, you know, clothes, like nightclub clothes, which is, you know, I guess Miami. I definitely look like I'm coming from California with this gear. All right, Lana, let's see this. Apparently, Turn knows his style too. Swagger. Ooh, look at that. Like what do you think, Lando? I don't know. Let's keep looking, should we? Uh, sure. All right, guys, apparently we're on the puka shell uh, hunt here. Seems to be the consensus here, oh, puka shells. Here shapes, puka shells. Ashley's pretty dialed in here, I think. Ahoy, Captain. <laughs> All right, guys, so we have dialed in whatever he wants. Ashton has got himself a Miami, Florida Gilligan hat. Good. With That's puka good. shell. Turn got the same thing, but different color hat, okay? We got two boogie boards. Landon got the same thing, but different color hat. So cute. We got two boogie boards, because we're gonna need those of the ocean. And then Ava here, she really, guys, it was a very thoughtful process here. We got ourselves a little Miami, wait for it, there it is right there, a little Miami. <laughs> For her pack pack. And, and then backpack. you always you always need to have unicorn earrings no matter where you go, you gotta have unicorn earrings. It's well, just part of the packing list. One. Well, I mean the unicorns made them, so well, I have unicorn ones. Oh, okay. And then this one is just in case she has Penny. coins, like yeah. pennies, right? Like maybe even penny could fit in here. Penny. And then I had to get this endless summer hat. And Lindsay in true fashion had to try some things on and then and then she had to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, we are back from souvenir shopping and I'd have to say, I think we got some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, turn would agree. It. We nailed it in mom's Get woods that. over there. Who goes to that? Guys, one thing about staying really anywhere right now, especially during COVID, is they don't clean your room. So we are seven days in a hotel room with six people. You don't want, we are not doing a tour. Let's just say that. And my clothing right there. I'm sitting on clothing actually. That's why we got the tour to start as hat <laughs> anyway so we've actually asked for a vacuum a couple times that brought us a vacuum but back to my own room we made it look nice it's our home for the next uh, seven days but guys thank you for watching today's video today was uh, a lot of fun just kind of taking these kids back to somewhere that Lindsay and i really love which is key biscayne and see any we didn't see any iguanas though really I and mean, we saw a couple saw but again. not as many last time we were here was during a hurricane so uh oh um interruption we interrupted this uh, for a very important message. It was really fun. Yeah, it was really fun. We were here during a hurricane, so therefore there were not a lot of people. This time there's a lot of people's third, so the iguanas yeah. probably just like took off, don't you think? Yeah. Okay, so before we close tonight's video, everybody, we want to ask Ava real quickly. What? Best part of the day, go. Get buying this. Buying that? Okay, Ashley, best part of the day, go. Um, probably swimming. Swimming in the pool. Okay, then the best part of the day, go. Probably getting this. Getting your, okay, so guys, I think souvenir shopping is probably the highlight of the day. So, if you guys liked the souvenir shopping that we did, go ahead and smash this thumbs up. Yeah, Ava, what do you think? Like button, like. Yeah. Subscribe down below and see you tomorrow. Hey, Grandma. <laughs> What's up you guys? Good morning from Miami Beach, Florida. We are so excited to be here. We had a little bit of a disappointment. Because two of them, we have two, two of them months. actually. This morning we found out that a big storm of sorts, wind oh, is rolling yeah. in, mainly just wind. Yeah, like 15 to 20 knots, which is like 23 miles an hour. So they are canceling all parasailing tours for the last, for the, uh, the last two days we're here. They're actually canceling clear through Friday. 
So from Sunday to Friday, they're not doing any parasailing, which is kind of a bummer because we had... We were supposed to go this morning. And 11.45 this morning, we're going to go parasailing here Something in Miami. I've never done. Have you ever done it? I've done it once. Did it with Sean okay. in uh, San Diego's kids. The kids and myself, we've never done parasailing before. We were so excited, but it's okay. We'll have to save it for another trip. Then we found out tomorrow we had big plans to go on a snorkeling tour, do some jet skis. Right now, the snorkeling tour is canceled and we are not so sure the jet skiing is gonna work out either, but we're crossing our fingers. See, Lindsay says that the jet skiing won't work out, but if you guys recall, Lindsay and I were here last year and did a jet ski tour in a hurricane. When everyone else was closed, I found somebody that would actually take us and that was actually open. He says so. it was in a hurricane, but what happened is the hurricane was coming for Miami. That's for dramatic effect, people. <laughs> it was coming for Miami and then it took a completely different turn. So everyone here was preparing for a hurricane, but the hurricane never came anywhere near here. The weather was completely fine, calm water, everything. But this could be different. We still have some fun plan fun plans for tomorrow. Today, however, it's just gonna be a chill day. Really, we we're just planning on being at the Fontainebleau here today anyway, enjoying this probably one last time. We got the boogie boards last night yep. at the souvenir store, so the boys are really excited to use their boogie boards in the ocean. And then we are gonna go parasailing. So really the only thing that's off of our agenda today is parasailing. So we're just gonna enjoy the peach pool a little bit more. Kids have honestly been in the pool all morning. We haven't been to the beach yet, but like Lindsay said, we're gonna go enjoy those boogie boards, but we did just order some poolside lunch, so that's a bonus. And if you're wondering why my voice is like this, I have no idea. Every morning, progressively, it's been going out each morning I've been waking up. I'm not sick, I just, I don't know. Maybe I've been screaming too much. Maybe it's because of the water slides at uh, Tidal Cove. That slides. could have been it. Yes. I don't scream at water slides, I do I? That's hilarious if you do. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are headed beachside right now because these kiddos want to give a shot on the old boogie board. Okay, so we went to the souvenir shop last night, picked up these cheap little boogie boards. Let's show these boogie boards off here real quick. I got Dory. We've got Dory. Hey, Mr. Grumpy Gills. And all our little friends. And we have whatever the shark guy's name is. Name's Bruce. These definitely are Nemo themed boogie boards, no doubt. So we are off to go see if these kiddos can catch some waves on these boogie boards. I actually think Ashton's never been boogie boarding before in his life. Is that true, Ashton? California, yes I have. Oh, that's not true. Father of the year strikes again. Kiddos, let's do this. March into the abyss. March, march, march. We're gonna catch some waves today. We're gonna take some 10. Jump. Yeah. Oh yeah, the storms are brewing, lads. My kid eat by a shark out here. Nah, we don't taste good. All right, we're being told to go in. They're blaring a siren at us. Tell us to come in. That is what we are doing right now. Don't know why, but we're about to find out why. All right, so we're being told there is a rip current out there today. So where we were is actually, is actually where the rip current is. So he called us in. Well, because we don't want to be pulled out to sea. So we're gonna surf the small waves right here. Or should I say boogie board the small waves right here. Well guys, that was a close call, I guess. I'm glad they have lifeguards here to keep you safe. Oh, here we go, go action. We're not gonna try to catch a wave together here. I mean, Miami doesn't have a ton of waves. That's more Cocoa Beach area. But we're doing our very best out here. Go turn, that's a good one. Nudge you forward. I can't get feet on it. Well, Cause it sucks your back. So you gotta paddle in right at the right moment. As if I know what I'm talking about. Nothing like a good old tropical wave storm, people. Lindsay! <laughs> Everybody's taking cover. Bring back some memories here, babe. And we are in the ocean. We're warm. It always means it's totally fine out here when you're in the ocean. And yes, this totally brings back memories. If you haven't seen that video, you have to go see it. We're running in a race. This is probably my favorite video of our entire trip to Miami last year. That's so fun. Running down the beach so in a fun. Guys, turret is out here. Still insistent. Oh, here we go, 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 go. 
Oh, drip down. Pull on me. I feel it's pulling me. Look, rainstorm's gone. Just a challenge. Just a challenge. Do not look behind you. Don't look behind you. Bob, don't look behind you. Sure, do not look. First person that looks is. Missy. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are back at our hotel room. Just had an amazing time here at the pool today. Met the sweetest couple who actually gave us some suggestions for what to do tomorrow because honestly, a lot of our plans have been canceled, so we're trying to like call an audible here and figure out what we're gonna do. So thanks to them, we actually might have some plans for tomorrow. They were the cutest couple. She actually stopped us this morning and asked if she could take a picture of us in the pool, which was really sweet of her. And later in the hot tub, we got to know them, found out that they were on their honeymoon, which is so fun. They're the cutest couple. We had a ton of fun talking to them forever tonight. So. so they suggested that we go rent a boat because the husband is a big boater. And I thought, hey man, you and I are cut from the same cloth because I love boating too. So there is a spot down at Marco's Island, which I don't think we've really heard about at all. Mm -mm. But supposedly you can rent a deck boat and you can see dolphins, you can see manatees. So that actually sounds like something we might do. So we're gonna discuss it over dinner. Kids are all dressed up. We're in our, I don't know, dinner clothing if you wanna call it that. <laughs> I told everyone last night, my vibe doesn't really fit in here. It's more of a clubbing scene, like nice silky shirts. <laughs> I'm more like a hurly, hang loose, you know, type type outfit guy. And I'm the cool dad, that's, that's my thing. Come on, we're family, we're family. Well, I tried to actually dress it up a little bit tonight with a, you know, but I'm sure. <laughs> so, yeah. This is about a dress as you get and ashy. Yeah, and ashy. Look at that. Everybody's See? in their nicer ones tonight. He's ready to hit the dance floor. Hey, anyway, guys, so we're going to go get some dinner and uh, figure out what we're going to do tomorrow. Yeah, what are we doing, just skiing? Oh, actually, yes. So we are for sure going to do some sort of jet skiing. We know that because Ashley has been begging for it. As long as they don't close it down. So as long, yeah, as long as they don't close it down. That's right. We just made it back to the hotel after a delicious dinner. Guys, never tried Cuban food no, before. I, was say, I, mean, I have to give it two thumbs up. It was amazing. It was so good. So we got this the sampler appetizer. So we tried all the different like Cuban appetizers. And then I got a sampler dinner, so it like it let me try chicken and pork and beef. But then we all tried these juices, and that was probably our favorite part. Yeah. Orange yeah. juice type thing and like a mango lemonade. It was amazing. So good. So two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, food. but four we had to, thumbs up for me. four thumbs up for Ashley, he says. But we had to finish the night, however, with some more good fry. old traditional 
pie. Guys, pies are a thing. That and chocolate chip cookies, right? So there's this place in Miami. Specifically, key lime pie. Place in Miami called Fireman Derrick's. Lindsay actually found it online. And we were going there the first night, and it was incredible. And we thought, well, gosh, if we're gonna spend an entire day tomorrow in Key Largo, down in the Keys, then we probably should quickly get some of this pie because tomorrow night might be a little bit too late. So we're gonna eat some pie, and then we're gonna go to bed. All right, guys, first of all, let's just point out the obvious here. My hat is amazing, so amazing. I don't think you can see my eyes right now. <laughs> a few of you have also been commenting on how big my sunglasses are. Don't worry, Justin reminds me every time I wear them. Frogman! <laughs> guys, we have made it all the way down here to Key Largo. We are at the beautiful Dolphins Plus Resort here where we are gonna do something very special, something very exciting today. We're gonna swim with some dolphins. We're so excited. David, did you hear that? Did you know that dolphins are born with mustaches? What the heck? Every single dolphin is born with a mustache. I didn't know that. Are you so excited to swim with dolphins? I know you're a little nervous, but don't be nervous because dolphins are like puppy dogs of the water. They are so nice. I've seen a puppy dog mermaid. You saw a puppy dog mermaid once? These are kind of the same thing. Show. Here at Dolphins Plus, the dolphins are like the nicest. You can like hang onto their dorsal fins and they'll swim you around and stuff. The top one? The top fin. Are you ready for this? Does it hurt you? No, I don't think it hurts them. The trainer will let us know. They have really good trainers here. They'll tell us. They'll tell us everything. All right, so because we're going to swim with these dolphins, they're going to give us some very special dolphin vests here. I'm Little peanuts up first. Dude. So the water is about 18 to 20 feet deep, but you guys will be on a platform that'll probably go about to your waist. Constant reinforcement. So when the Ooh, something I should practice with, with the kids. Okay, so Ava is a little nervous here, she's saying. Is that right? Yeah. But in that Barbie show, they play with dolphins and mermaids all the time. So it's kind of like the same thing, right? Yeah. Turning everyone else, they're learning how to become a dolphin trainer. Why I try to talk Ava into not being scared about dolphins. One last time. So you know that I know that you know that I know that you know the rules, okay? All right. Please don't reach out for him until I say it's okay. Please don't reach out for him. I meant, I'm not here. They're super excited. We are super excited. Hold my That's hand there, Samantha. sweet girl. Oh, look, there's Samantha. She's in her 40s. What? We saw a dolphin. We saw a dolphin. We did. What's up, Leo? Hi, so cute. Ava, what do you think? What do you think, Ava? All right, guys, we are here with Jessica over at Dolphin Plus. She is a very experienced trainer. How long have you been doing this? 16 and a half years. 16 and a half years. So before we jump in with her dolphin, Leo, we just want to get a little bit of a, of a history lesson here on these dolphins and this facility. Dolphin yep. Plus originated in 1998 on Valentine's Day. It was our first day open. And we started with some dolphins that came over from our other facility, Dolphin Plus Marine Mammal Responder, that's been around since 1979. Wow. Okay, so how old is this, how old is Leo? Leo turned 17 on July 29th. He was our first dolphin born here. And fun fact, his father was our first dolphin born at our sister facility, Dolphin Plus Marine Mammal Responder, about two miles down the road from here. Okay, does he act like a typical teenager like my kid here? Um, he's a people pleaser, so I don't know. Okay, yep, yep. <laughs> he loves interacting with humans. He loves doing everything that he can to make uh, humans happy. So okay. I don't know how your teenager is. Uh, that doesn't sound exactly <laughs> like Durin, but. Exactly. You like know what? Maybe he can learn a couple things from Leo here today. Maybe. He's so cute. Leo. Leo, are you hamming it up for the camera? He's hamming it up right now. He is the biggest hammer I know. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi, Leo. Hi. Here we go. Leo, you hold my hand. Here. Oh, there he is. Look, there he is. 
Come on. Wait, wait, come on. Are we getting lowered? Yeah, right up to here. Here comes the water. It's okay to be nervous. I got you. It's okay. It's okay. Here it comes. Oh, he's right, he's oh my goodness. It's okay. No, we're not going all the way down there. He's missed. Oh, he's showing off for us. This is amazing. You're okay, sweetheart. It's okay. We're almost there, Ava. We got to get a little bit deeper so Leo can fit. Oh, crap. No. You're okay. Almost there, almost there, almost there. We're there. Okay. All right. So let's start off with a trainer behavior. So you're all going to ask Leo to jump, okay? Okay. So we're going to get some fun in here. So let's have you all move up just a little bit. On the count of three, hold. You're all going to clap once and shoot a hand in the sky, okay? Okay. All right. One, hold on. I want them looking at y'all. Two, three. Clap point. Oh my goodness! Oh my Whoa, I missed that one, dang it! Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, Jenna, these are perfect. Ava! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Holy cow, here he comes! <laughs> oh, listen to him! So all those sounds come from his blow hole. You can all get really close, just don't reach out for him now, okay? Okay, don't reach out yet, Turbo. <laughs> See the blow hole flap moving? Leo's got a seagull. <laughs> it sounds like a seagull now. Leo's got a choo-choo train. <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> and then, his famous elephant. I don't know where he got the elephant from. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> so, a little bit more dolphin anatomy. So this tiny hole right here is the ear. But they have much Can better. Ears? Yep, they have much better hearing than us. Eight times is better. So see these dots right here? This yeah. is where the hair was. So they're born with hair. They just don't keep. It. <gasps> That's the mustache. That's yep. the mustache we were talking about. Leo, what do you think about? What do you think about Justin today? Oh. <laughs> what about Ava? Oh, he likes you. He thinks I'm a toot, apparently. <laughs> what about everybody else? <laughs> So someone's <laughs> going to have to hold his tail underneath, and then all of you can rub with one hand. The dolphins give blood from a vein right here voluntarily. We train them to participate in all their medical behaviors voluntarily. So in case they get sick or something like that, we can treat them. Oh my goodness, feel that. That is amazing. That's soft. And that tail is cartilage. There's no bone in it, just like our ears. It's a thicker on the end here, on the tip, or not the tip, but the curve here? Yes. Very yes, thick. It's their motor. And then each one is unique, like our fingerprints, and like their doors will fit. It looks like rubber, like a wet suit. Do you think they feel like hot dogs? I think so. Yeah, they actually They kind of do. Hey, but do you think that's a hot dog? Yeah, are you talking about all these little like cuts? Yeah, what do you think, yes, dude? That's from cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool, huh? So they use their teeth to discipline. And then what about Ava and Lindsay? Oh. oh. <laughs> and what about Justin again? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Does he do that by himself pretty I'm That's a cute pink belly, right? <laughs> right? Let's actually have you rock the belly. Let's do three and three. Yeah, back and forth, you can see the belly button. Yeah, so proud to me. <laughs> He's just going for that oh, GoPro. Wow. And you see the belly button? They're mammals, so they're born alive. Where's the belly button? Right by Justin's hand. Right here. Hey, okay. what do you think? Oh my gosh, this is like his hand right here. Well, we're not supposed to have favorites, but I have been working with Leo the longest. 
Yes. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd like to see this little over his head. Okay. Put my hand right there, and then yep. I want to see his beautiful eyes. A little bit taller. The color is going to be Oh, that's too tall. Just there you go. Now that's perfect. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is incredible. Holy cow. Come with things. There you go. A little bit taller. Yeah, hold your hand taller. There perfect. you go. Perfect. Oh, a little higher, Lana. A little higher. Oh, that was perfect. There you go. Oh, the there way you in go. here. Holy. I'm going to ask him to put his tail. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. You're about to hold this dog. Over your hand. So don't grab all like that. Not in my hand. Okay, Hold on, we'll, everybody. You two move a little still. closer. Okay. Nice and gentle. And he's going to pose for you all. He likes it. All right, he's coming back. Uh, everybody smile because he's going to pose. Smile at her. Good. Hey, grab his pin. Grab both of them gently. Both of them. There you go. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice to meet you, huh? Good job, Landon. All right, Peanut, you're up. Guys, in case you just missed that, Jessica that? just oh, rode on the dorsal fin of Leo here around oh, the uh, Lagoon. That was incredible. Hey, what'd you think? Amazing, right? Nice, buddy. So we're just asking him to clear his lungs right now. Nice, So some uh, dolphins get a beta. beta. Oh That's amazing. Holy cow. Nice. That was like so cool. Him, him like jumping, that was sweet. <laughs> Isn't that sick? <laughs> Lizzie just said this is probably the best part of the trip so far. This is my favorite part of the trip and I want to take Leo home. He's so cute. Guys, what's amazing about these dolphins is how human-like they are. I know they're trained to obviously be this way, but they're just this like weird, odd human connection I felt like. It was just bizarre. Like they knew who we were. Just the way they expressed themselves felt like it was very human-like. That's all. Yeah, he was so sweet. Guys, there was a time that I wanted to be a veterinarian, as you guys know that, but also there was a time that I wanted to be a marine biologist, so this stuff kind of hits, uh, hits close to childhood home for me. All right, guys, we just finished up here at Dolphin Plus, over here in Key Largo, with Jessica, our trainer, and Leo, our buddy down here, who's actually making his final appearance. Where is he? There he is, right there. Guys, this was so fun. The most incredible experience. Jessica was so much fun. Leo is the cutest dolphin ever. <laughs> you guys highly suggest if you're down here in Key Largo, come over to Dolphin Plus. They put on a great, great program that is super interactive with these dolphins. Such an Seriously. experience. Like bring your family here for sure. This was my favorite part of our entire trip. Oh, he's coming behind here. <laughs> This guy is camera happy. <laughs> He's like Ava. Ava loves the camera. <laughs> Guys, this will definitely be a memory that we will have forever. Turn just said, Dad, this is the coolest part of the trip so far. And Ava, you ended up not being as scared as you thought you, you were, were going to be, huh? You were brave, girlfriend. Yeah. You were brave. What was your favorite part of the of the dolphin? Jumping backwards and jumping forwards. Jumping backwards oh, and jumping forwards? I thought for sure yeah. it was going to be when he gave you a kiss. 
Oh, that one. Oh, that. <laughs> that one's both of them. Both of them. And of course, the twins over here in true twin fashion are just grilling the trainers over here. By the time they're done with the questioning, they'll be trainers themselves. Bye, buddy. See you. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys, the fun is not ending today. Ashton over here has been begging, 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 and pleading to go on some sort of jet ski tour. They have been telling us because of the weather and of the rain, things like that, that that just wasn't gonna be a possibility. Well, as you guys can see, the sun is shining. We finally found a spot that actually is going out right now on a 90 minute jet ski tour. So this kid is amped out of his mind. Yes. Guys, the problem is we are down two GoPros. This trip has been totally bizarre. The GoPro 360 is broken. My GoPro session is broken. All I have is my GoPro Hero 7, which is currently functioning. So we're gonna have one GoPro out there. Can't take this camera because it's not waterproof. However, I'm gonna bring the drone, which I realize is crazy. I'm gonna put it in the air as we're driving, put it in a backpack that is kind of waterproof. But guys, so anyway, we are here at the beautiful Marriott. We're gonna go jump on some jet skis and do a little 90 minute tour around the bay into some mangroves and have a good old time. Bash, are you ready? Turbo. Turbo, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Lana, are you ready? Yes! <laughs> All right, guys, so we're splitting up. Because there's six of us, we've got two skis, right? And Turin is not old enough to drive, so he's not going to drive. But we've got uh, two skis, so we're going to put Ava and I think Turin with me, and Ashton and Landon with mom is the plan, or the other way around. We don't know, but here we go, because they're just holding the tour, they're waiting for us. All right, you guys, so we've got Ava and Landon actually with me, and Mom, Ashton, and Turn on a ski. Landon, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right, green button. Fun. Lando? It's okay. <laughs> you know what I love about Lando is he doesn't mind when he gets flipped off actually. He just laughed and giggled and just had a good old time even though I hear him yelp and scream every time I hit the accelerator. <laughs> oh, there's a houseboat you might see in Lake Powell. Not.
because we were on the open water and the waves were really choppy and I was a little scared. But now the water is super calm and was I a speed demon or was I a speed demon? Okay, if I wasn't a speed demon, then what would I? jet ski tours I've ever done. Ava, are you loving this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nana, what about you, buddy? Uh, okay, it's okay. <laughs> well, it's not loving the back. It's a little bit violent back there. But guys, look where we are here. This is incredible. This nice little tight channel here in the mangroves down here in Key West. Man, I feel like we should move here now. Ah! Okay, we're gonna get the drone in the air too and get a very awesome aerial shot of where we're at right now. Ava, you agree with this? That's the cool one? Nah. I don't agree with it either. See, I'm the fun driver, huh, Lando? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's heaven. That's my future house. Holy cow. All right, this is the party jet ski, isn't it? Lando, party jet ski, buddy boy. Isn't it? Okay, swim to me, let's go. I didn't fall off, I just jumped in. <laughs> Guys, I, I in good conscience cannot say that you're the fun boat because Landon jumped off. He jumped off, you guys haven't even gotten wet over there. Hey, 
Hey, we're going right into this tree because mom sucks at driving. One second here. <laughs> into a tree, oops. Let's go! We are back from our jet ski tour. We had so much fun out there. I have to say, so much fun. I have to say, Landon is a trooper because not only did he ride on Justin's jet ski, Ava jumped off at the end. They went back out there, and Landon took I mean, he was dumped at least five times yeah. by this guy over here. <laughs> here's, yeah, and here's Justin's just spinning in circles, and Landon's just holding on for dear. Life. And finally one of them took us both off. So we didn't have a camera because we just we just had to hang on for dear life So we couldn't have a free hand, but uh, yeah, it was pretty amazing I was actually also very surprised by cute little Ava because when I rode past them They were hauling and she was just giggling and I just thought she is one brave little girl to be part of this family Then I told you I had bossy and bossy on my jet ski. We had so much fun They were teasing me the whole time calling me names Oh man, we were having a good time out there. Also, super fun, Turin and Landon and Ashton all got to ride around a little bit as the driver, which they were very much loving. Guys, and also we have a little surprise now for the kids. Because this is our last day, we're trying to jam a lot of things in that we kind of saved for the last day. We're heading down to a place where the kids can feed these massive tarpon. And supposedly you dangle the fish right over the dock, and they come up and they, and sometimes they take your whole hand with you. My name's Lori. Where's your hand? I just have to say, even though a few My of our- My hat's awesome. <laughs> besides that. That even though a few of our events got canceled while we were here, we ended up doing stuff just as fun, if not more fun. So I can't believe how awesome oh, yeah. it turned out. We called a great audible and it worked out for us, didn't Paris it, Parasail was canceled yesterday. Bummer. Snorkeling was canceled today. Bummer. And look what we ended up doing. Today turned out way Perfect. better than we could have ever expected. Perfect. All right, guys, we have made it over to the notorious Robbie's down here in Alamorada. Guys, this is where you feed huge tarpon. This is gonna be so much fun. Turn especially is gonna have a blast doing this. Guys, this is like a notorious spot. One that Lindsay and I have been wanting to come to for a very long time. And finally, we've made it here with the kids. Woo! <laughs> man, man, these things are striking hard. Oh, is that a manatee? Yeah. No way! Oh my goodness gracious! Look at that thing! That's a manatee! Cut him! Cut him! Oh my goodness! <laughs> what? Oh, how amazing is that? So are you petting a manatee? Yes. They're friendly like that? I guess so. It just came up for you to probably to feed it. Who threw that one, Lando? Oh, Lando, the manatee just got yours. Ava, are you not going to touch the fishies? Okay, hold it by its tail. Okay, toss it in. Go. <laughs> Watch him race to it. Ready? Ready? Let's throw it out. Oh, Holy cow. Alright you guys, we just 
just wrapped up our last day of vacation. We went out with a bang. We had such an awesome, fun-filled full day. We were gone all day today. We spent it in the Keys, the Florida Keys, and it was amazing. amazing. We are so tired. Our parts are so full. We had the best vacation, and tomorrow we go home. The kids are all sound asleep. In fact, they fell asleep on the way home, which we exhausted. it was like an hour and 45 minutes actually just to get back to where we actually were. But guys, what a great day to finish our vacation on. We got to swim dolphins. We got to do a jet ski tour. We got to feed the fish. It was just fun. In fact, what I love, I think, most about this big family vacation, because again, this is the bit, first big family vacation we've actually done. We do a lot of mini vacations, we do a lot of boating, but this is the first time we've actually taken all the kids on an airplane, flown, in, yeah, flown any farther than just California. And what's amazing is every day was fun, even if the ones that were simple, where we sat at the beach and played at the pool, we just enjoyed being out together as a family and just making these memories. So guys, thank you so much for coming along with us on our vacation. Please join us tomorrow on our journey back home to Utah. We have a much longer flight than we did on the way here. So 13 plus hours, here we come. But thank heavens, Southwest has movies so we can watch the movies. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining us in Miami. Miami, we will miss you. We will certainly be back. For all of you guys, tune in tomorrow, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye. See you guys. Ava, are you ready to go home? No. Do you want to go home? No. You what? <laughs>here at the Fort Lauderdale Airport. We are all packed up. Our bags are all checked in. We're all checked in. They don't have the best food options here, do they? I mean, it's an airport. It's made for airplanes. And That's well, around. yeah. Sh Did she let you? Didn't even try. Oh, look at mom upgrading her meal here. It's her best friend's house. <laughs> so anyway, we are currently at Starbucks eating breakfast because, well, that's the only place there is to eat breakfast, is Starbucks. That is actually good. Real what quick. I want to know is the cake pop that you ordered, was that on the breakfast? She menu? ordered a cake pop for breakfast? No, she got a bagel, but she also got a cake pop. What? Who eats cake pops for breakfast? She goes. <laughs> Okay, so I need to hear real quick highlights. Lando, highlights of the trip, go. Definitely jet skiing, like spinning. <laughs> jet skiing and spinning, okay, turbo. The dolphin thing or the water park? Oh yeah, the dolphin thing or the water park for me too. Same. You know, I love when they have multiple answers. Absolutely. Oh yes, let's see. Ride one and the um, dolphin. So Tidal Cove and the dolphins, you love the dolphins? I knew you would. Uh, so, so water park and um, Jet skiing and um, the building that huge sandcastle on the beach. Oh, okay. That's a cheesy. That dad I love when they have multiple answers here. Mama, what about you here? Meeting my new BFF, Leo. The dolphin. <laughs> He's my favorite. I will say that was, oh gosh, you know what, for me guys, I'm such a sucker. I loved every aspect uh, of it. I do too. But I will definitely say Tidal Cove, jet skiing, and dolphins. Leo was the funnest. Honestly, I can't, I may have to think about it. I'm going to come back on camera later today and think about really what my answer is, but really the entire all time it. was just so fun. All of it was just so fun. This was a dream come true to take our family on this little vacation. Guys, this is one of many vacations because we just realized, calculated in our head, Turin only has six summers left before he's 18 and becomes more of an adult. So we're gonna pack in as many trips as we can. Is that right? We're doing math, hang on. Seventh, one after eight. Five, I mean, it depends on whether he spends the summer with us after his senior year. So then if not, then we only have five. Oh my goodness gracious. So, many more trips to come, we hope. But guys, Salt Lake, here we come.
to Baltimore, Maryland. If you're wondering if that is on the way from Florida to Utah, it is not. <laughs> it is definitely out of the way, but we are one leg closer to getting home. The kids- One very, very long leg. Well, no, the, the one we just did wasn't very long, but the one we're about to get on, it's very long because when we get to Vegas, we don't get off the plane. So we are on a plane for the next six hours to we figure out. And we're currently in a charging station here, charging up every single device we have. Mm -hmm. Low battery. In hopes that they do not die on this plane, because if they die... <laughs> we're in trouble. I might die. <laughs> the kids have been trying to get their wiggles out since we're going to have to sit in a small plane for the next six hours. So we've been doing jumping jacks, we've been doing push-ups. <laughs> we've been making quite the scene over here. In fact, Turin made such a scene that a sweet man came over to me and said, are you the mom of these kids? And my first reaction is my heart sunk like, uh-oh. What's he gonna say? What did they do? That's what I thought too. <laughs> and he said, I just want you to know your kids are very well mannered and this guy right here is a huge gentleman. And I said, oh my gosh, you just made our day. Speaking of well mannered, Ash is yelling down the stairs to me. <laughs> sweet little Turin had just gone up the elevator with his siblings and he was being so sweet to them that it made an impression on that guy. There's nothing that makes your heart happier as a mama. There's the gentleman himself. <laughs> but the best news about this airport is that they have a pink berry and anyone who knows us knows we love pink berry so that's where we're headed next. chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh man, that looks good. What do you think, Ashy Bash? Way too much topping, for sure. <laughs> that one's for you and Lando Band. That looks so right. good. Oh, does that look yummy or what? Mm -hmm. Are those strawberries? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that for, you and Turin? <laughs> yummy. The Baltimore airport has the best food of all the airports that we've been to on this trip, by far. That's They've got pink berry. They have cranberry, Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, and uh, Arby's, and, and sushi in an airport. I saw a sushi place, Dunkin an Auntie Donuts. Anne yeah, pretzels. Dunkin' Donuts, they have like a massive diner. They have Dunkin' Donuts to go diner or something, and they also have... Um, we think we're just gonna stay here a little longer, because yeah. we're just enjoying all the food here. <laughs> and, they, and they have Jamba Juice. Can't miss out Ooh, and they have a Jamba Juice. You guys, they've got some good choices here. Some airports you go to and they have like two or three places and they're not very good. All right, everybody. Baltimore to Salt Lake. Here we come. Actually, sorry, actually just correct me. It's not Baltimore. It's Baltimore to Vegas, then Vegas to Salt Lake. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm getting corrected again. Hang on. Washington to Vegas, Vegas to Salt Lake. I don't know what's name, but it's not true. Hey, are you ready for a long flight? That's not a straw. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I caught Ava reading the uh, emergency plans here. In case of an emergency, at least I know to ask. Uh, you heard me. <laughs> what are you doing? Just checking out what happens in case, you know, the plane goes down. That's smart. That's smart. Two hours and 20 minutes left, people. Almost there. Alright guys, we are 41 minutes and I think we only have two iPads dead. Maybe that's not true. Maybe two iPads and a phone. Peanut over here though is we're just hanging out, aren't we? Yeah. That show just went over. My show's over. I'm borrowing Ava's pink headphones because my headphones died. Now it's her turn. And we just landed in Vegas. We are 
in Salt Lake City. We finally made it after a very long day of traveling. We are all so tired and so happy to be home. We're back on the bus, going back to our car right now. We're gonna start the aftermath of vacation. Look at these tired faces. <laughs> 